Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, the Metaverse Explorer, and I'm here to talk to you about Arbitrum Odyssey week one, which has just started right now. So if you're interested in Arbitrum Odyssey, uh, this is the video series for you to know. So like, subscribe for me, um, and you'll find out what it's like to just experience Arbitrum, which is a layer two Ethereum scaler, scaling solution at the moment. Week one has just started, um, and we're going to be walking through the bridges in this video and how you can participate in Arbitrum. Uh, Odyssey, right? So uh, first off, um, I want to let you know this is straight from Arbitrum themselves starting June 21st at 1 p.m. EST by using any of the bridges and uh, centralized exchanges listed below. To move ETH into Arbitrum, you'll be able to claim the first NFT after the week ends. Uh, users who end up using the bridge that had the most wallets bridged into Arbitrum are in store for a bonus NFT. And they do actually clarify this, right? They talk about the Ethereum bridge, not most users and not amount of wallets. So it doesn't matter how many bots you try and uh, uh, spin up and try and bridge into like with 0.001 Ethereum into Arbitrum, it's not gonna count. It's about volume, right? So first off, I just want to say my first video did a little bit well. Thank you very much. I only got 419 views for the first video um, and it got me 21 subscribers. So thank you very much for this. Uh, I love all you got all you new 21 subscribers. Thank you very much. Uh, I talked about Arbitrum Odyssey, how to prepare for it. And now this is week one, what you have to do in week one. And I'm going to show you by the end of it. So this is me. Thank you very much. I got 7,552 followers. My aim is to get to 10,000 followers. So thank you very much for liking and subscribing. Uh, this, none of this is financial advice of course, Arbitrum, uh, Ethereum, cryptocurrencies are all uh, a very, very early technology. So I would always uh, be cautious with what you're going to do on chain, right? Now, let's talk about uh, bridging, right? Uh, I'm going to blow this up so you can see. Um, bridging. Uh, in week one, we're going to be doing the bridging week where you'll be able to take uh, your funds either from Optimism, from Ethereum, from anywhere uh, that the bridge allows you and bridge it into Arbitrum and bridge it out of Arbitrum if you want, okay? Week two, we're going to be looking at Yield Protocol, Hashflow. Week three, Aboard Exchange, Tofu NFT, Uniswap, Apex, One Inch, Izumi, Dodo, Swapper, Treasure, Battlefly, and Idea Market and Sushi. Now, some of these might change. There might be new additions as the uh, hype uh, ramps up and keeps going up. But for now, we're in week one, which is Bridge Week. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, what I want you to do is familiarize yourself with Project Galaxy. They are um, kind of the facilitators of this experience. They're the people who is going to allow you to collect your NFTs, right? Um, and we'll show you the website as well. So you get acquainted with it. Um, let's keep going. Um, this is what it actually looks like on Project Galaxies. This is for week one, Enter Odyssey. Um, on the left-hand side is the NFT you'll be able to claim, which, you know, welcome on board. It's a very cute NFT. I'm very actually happy with it. Let's look at the uh, bridges on the right-hand side that are eligible. All you have to do is click on any of these links down uh, on the side, and then it's gonna tell you what the requirements are, okay? So you got Banksa Purchaser, uh, Transact Purchaser, Boring Dow Bridger, Connects Bridger, Hop Optimism Bridger, Hop Polygon Bridger, you know, Seedler Bridger, all of these bridges. These are all bridges that are applicable within week one. So feel free to use any of them. But what you wanna do is use the one that's most popular and has the most ETH bridged into it, right? What are you, how are you gonna find that out? I'm gonna show you. Sorry, I've already looked at this, my bad. These are the bridges, once again, visualized according to Arbitrum. These are the ones that are, are, are you know, should be used, right? Um, to clarify the confusion stemming from the last announcement, I'm gonna um, bring this out so you can see. Um, uh, if you end up using the protocol that had the most ETH bridged into Arbitrum during the week, you'll be eligible to claim the additional NFT at the end of the date. So remember, for so the eight weeks, there's like uh, there's different uh, protocols you use. You get an NFT for each of them. And then at the end, you get a bonus NFT if you're able to complete all of them. OK, and hopefully this NFT might do something for us, maybe an airdrop. We'll see. Um, reminder, no need to rush. If you've got a you've got a week for each task that's going to be brought to you a week, a week is a long time to do one or two transactions on chain the nfts are not first come first serve so like there's no rarities there's no minting not, 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 nothing like that right as long as you complete the task in question within the respected week um, you'll be able to claim the nft afterwards so don't rush guys just do come log on uh, log into your metamask and go to arbitrum and then just uh, do the on-chain task required and make sure you are familiar with what the actual task is right so I'm going to show you um, how do you find out which one is the best um, the best kind of uh, bridge to use because they said it's the most ETH that's going to be uh, required 
on that bridge to get that extra NFT. Um, now on Dune Analytics, we have uh, Spring Zhang. Thank you very much. He's tracking the Arbitrum Odyssey event and it's got a whole bunch of information for you to find out, right? It's very good uh, if you're interested in kind of the analytics behind it. I'm going to show you what's the bridge that most people are using right now and all the way in the blue is the uh, um, Hop Protocol bridge. Hop Protocol has been uh, doing pretty well for people, right? It's got 54% it's got of the entire network. After that, I think is uh, is either router or across. I forget which one it is. But for me, I'm, going, I'm just going to be using Hop, okay? And I'll show you. So Hop Protocol is by far winning. These are the amount of users. Um, different wallets so you know that's kind of like not cyber it's civil so people can attack it users being uh, a new wallet which could be you know, a bot that just starts spins up a new wallet and just makes a transaction right doesn't really count so hot protocol is winning so far by a whole mile so i'm just gonna um bridge through hop and then use across later on okay uh, you can do multiple transactions fees are cheap so you it doesn't really uh, affect you as much if you're going to do one might as well do the other so i'm going to do hop protocol and then i'm going to do across and i'll do one more as well just to show you because i'm interested in being a good web web3 participant now for hop protocol if you go to the um the website and what the actual requirements are this is what it says hop protocol hop optimism bridger addresses bridged eth into Arbitrum from Optimism Chain between the 21st and 27th via Hop. Okay, and at the bottom of it, it's got the requ the, the string of transactions and how it knows, right? Um, on LiFi, I'm going to be using LiFi Bridge because I'm a big fan of it. To be honest, it gives you it's like a bridge aggregator. It gives you the best route across all the different bridges. So this one it says addresses completed one of the following tasks: bridged ETH from any chain into Ethereum Arbitrum. Okay, bridged ETH, only ETH um, in, from any chain into Ethereum Arbitrum. Swapped any tokens from any chain into ETH Arbitrum. So even if you do ETH by itself, or even if you do USDC or anything else, it's it's still counted as a LiFi bridge and you'll be able to get that LiFi bridge uh, uh, tick and then you'll be able to get your NFT by the end of the month. Now, LiFi is not the one that's probably going to be uh, having the, NF the bonus NFT because that's going to be um, hop, most likely hop, right? Uh, we looked at this as well, sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and actually show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bridge through Hop, I'm going to bridge to LiFi, and I'm going to show you the differences. All right, here we go. So I'm going to tell you to go and find Olympio.Lens on Twitter. He's got one of the best threads on the Arbitrum NFT series. And then he, he just explained a whole bunch of stuff, okay? And he even says, use the protocols that don't have a token yet, right? He's marked them with a star. So LiFi doesn't have a token. Bungie, Dbridge, and Composable Fin doesn't have a token at the moment. So you might get some rewards later on down the line. Okay, after that, this is uh, what he's saying, you know, the best strategy for getting bonus MT is to use as many bridges as you can, okay? But we do know Hop, uh, according to the Dune Analytics, has the best one. And this is the uh, Dune Analytics showing uh, Spring Zen's work. Thank you very much, man. Um, week one, week two, week three, and he just goes on and shows you all the statistics and what's actually happening on chain. And this is what I showed you before, right? That's our protocol new user accounts, okay? Um, and we can see there's so many more people coming onto Arbitrum. Look at these numbers and look at these spikes, right? So many people coming onto Ar Ar Arbitrum because of this, uh, because of this uh, little initiative. So it's really great, you know, up and to the right, up and to the right. Okay, so now let's go to Project Galaxy and look at how you can actually do this, right? You go to the Project Galaxy website, look for the Arbitrum spaces, and this is the first NFT you'll be able to see on the right-hand side, Enter Odyssey. And this is the first week, right? No NFTs have been minted right now because uh, you need the time period to end. On the right hand side, these are the bridges you can use. So I'm going to click on LiFi Bridge and Hop Optimism Bridger. Okay. Um, this is what the requirements are. And you can just click there, go to the website to bridge. And then for the Hop Optimism Bridger as well, I'm going to click on the app.hop exchange. And these are what I'm going to use at the moment. So this is LiFi, great, great uh, exchange, great uh, kind of bridge. And this is Hop Protocol. I'm already logged into my um, my MetaMask at the moment. Uh, let's log into my MetaMask, very good. So I'm gonna show you now, I've already got funds on um, Arbitrum. I'm going to bridge from Arbitrum to Optimism, bridge from Optimism to Arbitrum, and back again using these three. Okay, it's going to be it's it's going to be cost a little bit of Ethereum, but I don't mind this at the moment. So, first off, let's use Hop Exchange. I'm going to 
Uh, I'm logged in here, Ethereum. I'm going to send ETH from uh, Arbitrum. I'm going to send it to Optimism, okay? And I'm going to send 0.2 ETH. Now, 0.2 ETH on Optimism, I'm going to be getting 0.2 ETH as well, but the fees are going to subtract, and then at the end of it, I'll have 0.199706. And I'm quite happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and send this. Uh, send this right now. Thank you very much. So I'm actually doing the opposite of what's required, right? I'm bridging from, from Arbitrum onto Optimism. I'm going to come back from Optimism just to show you because I've got some of my funds on uh, Arbitrum already. Let's go ahead and click this. Transfer. It does take a while to uh, get the confirmations done, okay? Now, on Life, while we're waiting for these confirmations to get done, I'm going to show you what uh, LiFi looks like. LiFi is great, to be honest. You can choose from all these different uh, uh, kind of um, uh, chains. So right now, I've bridged from Arbitrum to Optimism. I'm going to wait for my funds to come. Then I'm going to click on Optimism. And I'm going to bridge back to Arbitrum, okay? I'm going to bridge to Arbitrum. Now, remember, I'm also going to do the exact same thing using Hop Protocol, okay? I'm going to bridge Ethereum. And when it comes, it'll show me, and then I'll be able to... I'm going to bridge that same amount, 0.2. I don't have any funds now, but at the bottom, it's going to show me um, which one is the best, is the best, um, the best route. So I'm waiting for Hop to finish at the moment. Let's see if it's actually finished. Let's see if it's finished. Let's switch to from Arbitrum all the way to Optimism. Hey, the funds have arrived in Optimism, right? I only have a small amount of OP tokens. I had to go and buy this. So I have the 3.7 uh, Optimism tokens. Now, now it actually starts. I'm going to start bridging um, using Live Finance bridge from Ethereum to Arbitrum. This should give me the NFT, okay? This should give me the NFT. I'm going to bridge 0.2 from Optimism to Arbitrum using a LiFi protocol. And then later on, I'm going to use Hop Exchange because that's the one that's going to give you the NFT at the end. Um, you know, the, the bonus NFT. Okay, 0.2. Uh, what do you mean the route found you, liar? Let's refresh this just in case. Connecting. I'm in op optimism. Yes, 0.2. It's searching routes for us at the bottom. It does take a while to bridge across, no problem. It does take a while to um, find the correct bridge for us. So we'll, let's just wait. Alternatively, you can come back here and bridge from Optimism back to Arbitrum the same way I just did, okay? The same way. Here we go, here we go. Whoa, this is going to be very, very costly, to be honest. Very, very costly. Using the Li-Fi contract, I'm going to send 0.2 ETH to 1 inch. And then using the C bridge, I'm actually going to be getting only 0.1895 Ethereum. I am not happy with this. I am not happy with this, okay? Um, there used to be way better trans uh, way better routes. I'm not happy with this. No, I'm going to lose too much. I'm going to use Hop Exchange to go from um, Optimism to Arbitrum, Okay. 0.2 ETH. Arbitrum, I'm going to get 0.19943. I'm going to get 0.19887. It's going to take me uh, five, uh, 0 0.0005 Ethereum. Let's go ahead and send this, right? Thank you very much. You know, you lose a bit. It's okay if you lose a bit. It's okay, right? We're just experimenting. We're being a good Web3 participant. Now, we're going from Optimism to Arbitrum. I love that quick quick uh transaction confirmation amazing amazing so i'm bridging now from optimism to arbitrum and this should get you the um here hop optimism bridger you'll be able to see the requirements so addresses bridged eth into arbitrum from optimism chain between the 21st and the 27th this will make me eligible for this nft okay this is it this is the transaction now, very, very concerned that there was nothing else, no other bridges here. Um, Life Finance let me down at the moment, but Hop Exchange, I'm happy. And remember, according to Dune Analytics, Hop Exchange has the majority of volume, okay? The blue one is uh, uh, Hop Exchange. Everyone's using Hop at the moment. The next one is a cross network and then Sealer network. Now we're waiting for this to come. 
Shouldn't take long. Now, I, I'm quite worried for Solana because once these layer twos start ramping up, the fees get much cheaper. Transactions get a little bit faster. Ooh, Solana might be in for its run for the money because Solana is right now known as the, the uh, TPS king, right? Uh, fast transactions, even though it shuts down every once in a while, but it's still good to use, right? Right now, they're, they're doing pretty well. Um, so that's optimism. Let's go back to my Arbitrum account and see what's there. Yes, the Arbitrum activity has come back. I have now, um, that's the swap and send. Uh, where is the new funds? It it's arrived already. It's arrived already. I'm super thankful for this. So this should now make me eligible for the uh, uh, NFT. That's it, right? I mean, refresh, see if it can recognize it at the moment. Let's see uh, if anyone has, you can't claim our under, you can claim it only at the end, I think. Uh, let's see what, don't want to view my address on Arbitrum, sorry. Well, my address is public anyway, you guys can see. Um, how do I, how do I actually go back? That's it. So I'm going to cut this out, put it on Twitter. So anyone that's interested can um, bridge this themselves and go from Optimism if you want to Arbitrum, or you can bridge from Polygon, which has the cheaper, cheaper fees. You can bridge from Ethereum mainnet, but fees are still pretty high at the moment. Um, and you can bridge from a few other uh, things if you've got nurses as well, right? Um, I would recommend bridge from either Polygon or Optimism because uh, you can get some of the other um, bridges, bridge, bridge NFTs, okay? I would recommend using Hop generally. So that's it for now. I'm going to end it here. It's been about 20 minutes for this video. Uh, thank you very much for all my first 21 subscribers. I hope this one gets me a little bit more uh, getting to my goal. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this has been informative for you a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not a total expert, but I'm just a participant and I want to show and help other people get started, okay? It's not that hard. Just download MetaMask Wallet, um, get some funds on Ethereum. Uh, even if you have an FTX account, you can uh, withdraw directly from FTX onto Arbitrum, okay? And then you can still participate around the Arbitrum ecosystem. There's lots of protocols to, to experience like uh, within this Odyssey event. There's lots of them. Uh, people will bridge funds to Arbitrum. That's what you're going to be doing now. So hopefully this video has been uh, very good for you. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave you and love you. Ciao for now.